President Biden's son was just indicted on a gun charge, on gun possession charge. Uh, do you think that's fair that he should have been indicted for gun possession? Come on. I mean, him? Sorry. Yeah. And that's not going to go anywhere because he's a Biden. You know? Well, but, but by the same token, you're saying that we, should, we shouldn't have stricter gun laws, yet it's okay for Hunter Biden? Hunter Biden has... I don't, I don't even think I should comment on that. You know? Well, I'm asking you just about the gun. I mean, like, if, if we don't... Hunter Biden, what do you do? Throw that gun in a dumpster? I mean, you know, he's a clear felon. What's he a felon? But, but he's been indicted for that gun charge. In, but is it going to go anywhere? Well, we don't know. I'm talking about the indictment. Do you think it's a fair indictment? Yeah, I do. Yet you're for, not for stricter gun laws? No, I'm not. Okay. No. All right. So who are you with? Uh, TYT.com, streaming news. Mm -hmm. The Democrats want to take our guns away so they can control us. You know, there's not a Democrat. Why do we need our guns taken away? That is our right. That is. Right, but there's nobody, certainly among the 535 people in Congress and the two people in the White House, who wants to take guns away. What they want to do is restrict and put safety measures in. Is there any restriction that you'd be in favor of? Safety measures? Look what they've done with Antifa and BLM. They fund those people with cash, and you know they do. The Soroses. Gosh, is this on? Yes. Yes, this, this thing is definitely on. Second Amendment, where do you stand on that? Oh, go guns. That's how uh, Jews and everybody else went down in, in uh, World War II, is they confiscated all their weapons. And when the populace does not have a weapon, the government can do anything it wants with you. Uh, right. I, I would say, I would argue, we could have a different conversation about why the Jews went down in World War II, that it wasn't necessarily about, about guns. But, um, but it, do you favor any restrictions whatsoever on guns? I believe that there should be, you know, like the pre-checks and all that stuff, and definitely some more mental health checks. But uh, no, I'm not against guns whatsoever. Your uh, T-shirt, God's Guns and Trump. Tell me how you feel about the Second Amendment. We need to keep our weapons. Do you, are you in favor of any kind of restriction on weapons at all or ownership or anything like that? Yeah, you don't want me to answer that. No, sure. Certain, I do. certain people need to not have guns. Now, we shouldn't speculate here, but what kinds of people do you really think he's talking about right now? The Second Amendment. Are you supportive of the Second Amendment? Absolutely. Do you uh, support any restrictions on it whatsoever? Very limited restrictions. I mean, it didn't say, it said the people shall have the right to keep and bear arms and it shall not be infringed. And there was no, uh, uh, no fuzzy gray area in that. Tell me what you like about Donald Trump. I like everything about Donald Trump. <laughs> now, I'm going to ask you also about your shirt. It has a gun on it and I guess it announces where you stand on the Second Amendment, right? I am prior military police, so all the way second. And is, do you want to see any restrictions on gun laws in the United States? I do think that there should be stricter gun laws regarding being able to buy one. I think if you buy one, that you need to be trained on said weapon. Do you uh, see any restrictions on the gun laws that we have now that would be helpful? No, I don't, I, I don't believe there should be any more restrictions on firearms. Um, it already is pretty difficult to purchase your own, and you ain't going to find any gun laws that keeps people from selling used secondhand guns. They're trying, to, they're trying to close that to make it so the private gun exchanges, you can be indicted for it if you, if you do it without a background check. That's in, they're trying to make that law? Well, all of my guns that I owe, I bought secondhand. And, and uh, if, I mean, you seem like a responsible guy. We met 14 seconds ago, but, but um, do, that wouldn't restrict you because you'd pass the background check and it would be fine, right? right. Uh, yes, I, I would pass a background check. I just don't want the government knowing I have guns. So the funniest part of the exchange is when my man said that it's, it's already pretty difficult to buy guns, but, which obviously is the furthest thing from the truth that you can possibly imagine because in the United States, it kind of doesn't matter who you are. You can go buy a gun legally, especially at the gun shows. You know, you can go there and literally get flamethrowers, bazookas, rocket launchers. I've seen people who own tanks in the United States just because they could buy them. 
So like it, it's incredibly easy to buy weapons. Oftentimes that's like the whole deal with who is running up in these schools and these churches and these supermarkets massacring people. It's often individuals who had they had a little bit more attention paid to them, they probably wouldn't have been able to buy a weapon, you know, because all the manifestos that they leave everywhere online basically announcing to the world that they're about to go massacre people in a church for some stupid racist cause, for some stupid lost cause purpose. But, uh, you know, I guess it's a good thing, though, that we know the majority of Americans do want common sense gun laws. In fact, there were some people within this exchange that did say that. But Trump's rabid base is going to stay with him no matter what.